A legal fight over the right to have campaign signs on your property. The village of St. Charles is named in a lawsuit filed in federal court that alleges it violated the First Amendment. TV5's James Felton joins us in the studio to explain. James. <clears throat> Attorney Philip Ellison tells me the village of St. Charles, its president, manager, and police chief are all named in the lawsuit. And Ellison tells me that list could get longer. The policy and practices that the village officials undertook and then threatened to undertake starting today about ripping political signs out of individuals' yards is in violation of the First Amendment. Attorney Philip Ellison, who represents Troy Freed, a trustee for the Village of St. Charles, has filed a federal lawsuit against the Village of St. Charles. According to this Facebook post Saturday from the St. Charles Police Department, the police chief states in part that he will look for political signs Monday, today, and if he sees any in yards, he will personally remove them to comply with local, county, and state ordinances. Ellison says that's unconstitutional. There's clear lines that the First Amendment does not allow governments of any size, whether the federal government all the way down to the little villages uh, in towns around Michigan, you can't cross. And the officials here cross those. Freed is up for re-election. He claims that he had some of his campaign signs around the village taken down. I'm fighting for every Democrat, every Republican, and every independent for our constitutional rights of free speech. Freed doesn't understand why, in his view, the village of St. Charles is worried about political signs. One of my neighbors has had a Trump flag, for instance, since 2020 in, the, in his yard, and nobody has ever complained. So a lot of uh, my supporters and people are saying that I'm being targeted. Ellison says to his knowledge, the political signs have not been removed today. Ellison tells us if he learns otherwise, he'll seek emergency relief from the court. People should have the right to put a whatever sign they want, regardless of political affiliation, regardless of the way that they view issues, whether they support a candidate, reject a candidate, support an issue, oppose an issue. The, the U.S. Supreme Court has explained yard signs are an important, cost-effective means for people to exercise their free speech rights and government should not get in that way. The village of St. Charles declined comment. A court date has not been set. Reporting in the studio, James Felton, WNEM, TV5.